Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Panzercore 2. We're playing the new DLC. Even though I'm not finished yet with the 1943 campaign on the historical path, there's one more mission left. And uh, I decided to just play it after I'm done with the ahistorical campaign for 1944. So there we are. The outcome of the battle of Kursk has set the stage for the dawning of 1944. In defeat, German forces across the eastern front are hammered by Soviet counterattacks, leaving one pocket of Korsen as the final German outpost on the Dnieper River. But in victory, the alternate history sees southern Russia in Axis hands, as a new challenge comes from a most unexpected direction, which is from the north. We already did see that in uh, the previous campaign. Random list of a hundred, no disablement. Your opponent's true string, but it doesn't really matter. That's it. Yeah. I finished the historical campaign quite a long while ago here. And we, of course, we get to choose. I guess it's because they want everybody to be able to access the other content. I guess. Either way, we're gonna launch Ultimate History. Um, we uh, basically are being pushed by the British there. Um, all right. Let's take a look. I don't think I need anti-air veteran anymore. I can go for killer team. And if I just do deny artillery, that will give me Trose of War and Deadly Grasp. I don't really need flexible command. Ober Stefan Wagner reporting for duty. Welcome back to the fight, General Night Phoenix. There are quite a few developments for us to review, so we best get started immediately. The most critical matter is, of course, our current deployment here in the Southern Caucasus. While we most certainly anticipate an enemy attack to challenge our new claim on the oil fields of the Caucasus, the direction of the attack is still surprising. British forces have been spotted moving up from Persia to attack. Primary objective, hold both Tabriz victory hexes at the end of the scenario. Okay. Alternate objective, capture all victory hexes. I'm not quite sure why they have alternate objectives. I guess they get bonuses. Uh, bonus objective, destroy Soviet 47th Army HQs. And then elite objective, okay. Control both Astara towns. We knew that this route into Russia was a major allied supply lane for their so-called Lend-Lease efforts. And it probably explains how such a force was so rapidly assembled against us there. The, our only contingency plan for the situation, Case Orange, called for a defensive line to be set up at Tabriz. At all costs, uh, cost we must hold the line here. This part of Persia is very mountainous, and that makes Tabriz the only suitable location to serve as both a defensive and offensive staging ground. We have some scattered auxiliary forces ready to assist in our defense, but they lack the power to do much more than slow the enemy advance. I have a couple more matters for your attention regarding our mission. First off, some elements of the Soviet 47th Army have been spotted here. We aren't exactly sure of their strength after we ejected the Soviets from the Caucasus, but if we can destroy their command tanks, it will seriously disrupt the, this already isolated Soviet battle group. Secondly, there are reports of fighting on the thin strip of land between the mountains and the Caspian Sea. Reinforcing our units in this region will be nearly impossible. The only direct route is through this valley here by flying between the mountain peaks our aircraft can rebase to assist any force fighting in this region provided we first retake this airfield from british paratroopers that is given the remoteness of this part of the battlefield and indications that the enemy stationed here are unusually powerful we should only commit our forces here if we are ready for a serious challenge there's another matter of note I've placed several of our veteran units into our reserve. If you plan to assault distant Astara, reorganizing our current developments and also pulling more veterans out of reserve will be required for success. That is everything we need to discuss for the mission at General Night Phoenix. We can begin the mission as soon as you're ready, or I can continue with additional non-urgent reports to share with you. Okay. <laughs> 
Though we did not believe it would happen after our victories last year, the latest directives from High Command has confirmed it. Field Marshal Eric von Manstein is no longer in command of Army Group South. Field Marshal Model is positioned to assume command. We cannot exactly protest this decision, but I've put in for our detachment to transfer out once this current situation in Persia has been dealt with. Perhaps it is just as well because the new directives from High Command are putting a halt to our advances in this direction. When High Command is not interested in the Middle East, uh, High Command is not interested in the Middle East, not when operations in Europe are expected to expand this year. Everyone expects the Western Allies to launch some kind of invasion this year, and the Atlantic Wall will need all the reinforcements it can get. Also, I have heard that our struggle against the Russians in the North is continuing to go poorly. It seems as we capitalized on our successes in the southern regions, the Russians leveraged their strength in the north. After lifting the siege of Leningrad, the Russians have been using the city as a base of operations to attack our positions in the Baltic region. Russian success in the north are quickly becoming a looming threat that we cannot continue to ignore. I will keep you informed of strategic developments such as these as they arise, but for now we do have about the fight here and now. Two victory for Germany. Okay. Um... That is good. This because it means I can. Ah, oh, sweet. It's pretty neat. This is my. Uh... Uh, victory uh, uh, roster, which is, I guess, a bit different. 135. Um, so we, we would have to push them there. I don't, I don't, I'm not particularly sure what these additional bonuses, main or alternate things do, but um, I, I would wager we're, we're getting a additional units or something I'm, I'm particularly no we'll see we'll have a lot of reorganization again ahead of us and I also need to recheck basically how our units are um, yeah exactly because let's try to or let's at least see if we have Oh, there's a new button here, assign hero. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see if we can upgrade the Focal Wolf 190, and the answer is no. So that is still the best option that we have available for them. Mm, their hero roster looks a bit weird, but we'll take a look. If I now want to deal with the heroes, I still have to go here. I can't just go to, you know, plus hero. They, they should probably should have made this button like um, edit heroes or something. I actually don't need lethal attack. Double move is nice, though. Oh, this is different. It already has lightning attack. Um... I actually don't want it to have another hero. I also don't necessarily think that that is a good move for them, but... Uh, I do think first strike can be quite good on any... Um, New plane. Anyway, that's the bomber and the recon. I guess I do want to take these two out. There's no reason to have strategic bombers here. Let's see. So double attack with two slots. The uh, Messerschmitt is 7 on reduced. So it's 14 on a hull. Hmm. <laughs> It's uh, a bit interesting. So I, this guy with rapid fire. All of these, that's okay. But even now I like 
going for the panther gives it one less ammo but it has two more art attack one more movement slightly less defense but well the thing is i actually do like the additional ammo This unit is going to get upgraded, obviously, to a Panther A, without a doubt. And I'm going to at least put it to 13 here. Actually, all those T-34s will be upgraded. And no retaliation, crippling blow. Yeah, good enough. Let's... Let's go for the Panther A. I mean, it's the best I have, and I do think it's worth it. And in terms of firepower, anyway, then I'm just going to put these in reserve for a moment. Definitely going to take a look. Pioneer 43, 43, Infantry 43. This is a regular Wehrmacht Infantry. That's weird. Um... Not quite sure why these don't have any trucks. What is new? Osttruppen. Yeah, they're, they're not particularly good. <laughs> Either way. Certainly getting the cars for them. I mean, I just kind of feel like with most of my infantry, especially if they have stuff like that, I want to get them as strong as possible. Even if it does cost me an additional six, not necessarily for those that don't have the specialized um, specialized heroes and stuff. So for them, I'm a bit more wary. Now I'm actually gonna unassign readiness and with you. Well, first of all, what I had for one of these was both um, overwhelming attack and envelopment, but I don't have another one with envelopment. Uh, but overwhelming attack can still be good because then if I at least shell it with artillery, any attack will be a surrender then because they have no more movement so I can still not these but I have one that's not so great I think I just removed that tank Yeah, so I can get a, another um, panther. And I can... If I also assign them... Um, first strike... It means that uh, they can just go to town here. Um, yeah, so any damage is enough to force them to retreat. And then they can't retreat, so they surrender. And if I give them first strike two, there's literally nothing that particular unit cannot uh, 
actually defeat. So I'm gonna upgrade to the Panther because there's more movement. And I can put it this high. I'm okay on the facade stuff. I'm not too worried. You have the overrun, so that's good as well. I'm not that, I mean, it's a pretty good artillery, but to be fair, I'd rather have full strength fighters now because I just, uh, well, we'll see how, how it goes there, but um, this is fine. CPR is our preparation. Yeah, it's, that's okay. Um, I still prefer this screen. They have distraction, but that's not. That amazing. Radius is not bad. What I could actually do is removes resilient. If I give it both this and distraction, uh, or no, that's there's another. Hero. I'm not sure if I have it here that they have to target that particular unit. Mm, no. Well, that's still useful. 15. There's his last one with 10. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's provocative. Provocator. There we have it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would have to. I, mean, I can give him readiness at least. Going to 12 is at least something. Actually, I'd rather have it at 11 and then this one to 15. There we are, 160. All right, let's 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 get to deploying. Right, so. Usually reveal stuff there. No, it, it doesn't actually do that because I'm, I'm sure they have paratroopers there. Okay, well, I have to at least put some serious units in there, so I will have on artillery and Let's go for a second one. I'll get the AA. Um, 
And then I think I want two tanks there. Preferably the Neubauer, Neubauer Fahrzeug, but I need to actually give it uh, maybe even uh, not a aggressive counterattack, but I actually want to have something like crippling blow. These guys already have tank killer, so they probably don't even need it. tanks I, I'm not actually too sure on what to expect there All right, that that should be enough then I'll be I guess having Let's see, because if we're talking about all victory axes, it means I need to get both Bostan Abad, keep Sarab. They seem to be having some kind of attack from there too. Need to defeat that. I have 18 turns and I need to take this. The enemy might deploy more units in sections such as that and that. Two of them. So I need to split my units now still in two groups. They're likely to go through down there. Yes, I will. Also have these there and the recon. Whereas here. Try to do it like this, it's a bit weird. Um, I'm gonna... Leave at least a fighter, the double, a double attack fighter, I think. Like this to deploy up there and then I have my four other ones here I'm inclined to try and hold that airfield and I don't actually think I'll lose that airfield. But I might lose that one.
Does this toggle fast AI turn? No, okay. There we go. Okay. Let's start here. Guess that's because of the this. So I would have to get around it in order to get an overrun on those other paratroopers. Which is fine. Or apparently not even now. Hmm. That's not gonna do a whole lot of damage. Uh, I'll put these guys here. Let's see though. It's kind of weird. If my unit has first strike, uh, it doesn't have. weird I'm just gonna try it out here I no they fight back but then they do surrender Okay, well, uh, fair enough, I guess. I... Did I, uh, I did deploy all of my, my planes? Wait, oh, right. Naturally, it, it cannot go there and want to go. If at all now. Yeah. Uh, that was dumb. Hmm. Definitely don't want to accidentally run into the wrong unit. Let's see. Uh, no overrunning. Talk about unfortunate. Well. Where can you go? There. Only. I mean, um... I'm rather... Line just to leave to eat them. If they want to attack, that's fine. There might not necessarily be all that many units there.
Is this close terrain? This is just desert, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll do it like this. It should be fine. They can stay there. They'll get killed most likely, but... Well, what's this? Forest, forest. Well, if that's what it is, I can position myself and the same applies here. This is also forest. But it was unnecessary to can unpack anyway. This provides us with a uh, pretty decent defense. So. No, they can't rebase after their double attack. Oh. Really? Hmm. It's my bad. Hmm. Serious problem, that. So I'm going to kill them, but... I also don't want to attack too heavily into it. That should be fine. Oh, they can attack it? Huh. It's a bit weird because it tends to be that I can't do it, but... Oh well. Forgot the planes. It'll take a while before I have the air situation under control, but... It'll come. There's no rush at that either, how? At least it tends to take them a while. Hmm. 
Alright. It's fine. They don't fight back, huh? Thought I gave them artillery. I guess not. How did they get there anyhow? Oh, they must have used their extended movements afterwards. They, they're always a bit weird like that. Really? How? What? Okay. what the AI's got here. A 50, 50 strength unit. Generally, going for their fighters is unfortunate business, but I have to start with it. This doesn't get rid of the um, supply problem. Although, getting the Ophone is good enough at least. Like technically my forces should be able to get to draw supplies from down there, which is super weird, but it should be possible as it is. So it's kind of weird that uh, it would be like that, but oh well. As I said, I have to deal with the fighters first. At least, um, I can chew through these quite well. I can technically encircle that crusader. But I've launched those two infantry will then in turn encircle me. 
If I move here, it doesn't reveal anything. Unfortunate as... Somewhat scared that that might become a problem, but that didn't even do anything. do that at least that thing is encircled then I can move you back again not amazing but I have to hope none of my the enemy units can get to the war from in and they are in the forest hopefully they will indeed just keep them encircled they're only encircled from there I might as well attack here Ooh. Very nice. Well, to keep them encircled, I will also attack this. I have no ammo now. Back this way. This is river, this is river. The AI yeah, would have a hard time moving through there. They can't get through here now. take it cannot allow them to do more harm to that thing I just uh, don't want another encirclement, really. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. That was the Russians.
Okay. I'm actually dealing good damage to these weapons. Which is nice. Their uh, continued encirclement is starting to get a bit annoying. I say. For me, it rather means that I, I need to uh, rather like break out something along those lines. But uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going. This is a bit tricky. Like I said, rather at this stage, I need to break out here for a bit, make a position where I can actually hold them. Um, 
Any unit that I can kill in that uh, endeavor does help too, although they have too many units for me to effectively deal with it. I need to make sure that... They cannot use this here. I think this should suffice, even though I'm gonna get hurt a bit. Um, they can then still encircle a unit like this. I don't think they're that likely to attack. If I retreat here... Being in a city is probably better. Rather silly like that, but I can move these units because they're already not going to be an issue. Killing those and then the Cromwell. The earliest turns are always the most difficult in that prospect. Oh, that's hills. And this too. Well, I will need to make use of that situation to quickly kill that thing while I can. This too is hills, so let's move. It's actually a pretty decent spot to be in then. The one thing that's a problem is that I actually can't send these too far. This is quite a gamble, but I hope it will pay off. Draw out of ammo. Okay. 
basically just committing suicide with that garrison unit. Just fine. They died faster than I anticipated, so now they're moving back. It's okay. This will get reencircled. I don't think it, they will attack it. That hills? I guess it must be. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.